It's really interesting to be able to study something at a very fundamental level. I work on the Atlas collaboration. What I'm working on is, is trying to see if we can um, see the sea flush effect. So we are using a proton beam on fixed targets and then trying to study the substructure of a proton. There's a unique opportunity here to engage in these experiments and um, you know, n not just take part in it, but have a, a leading, contributing role. Um, I think that's something unique that the University of Illinois offers is the opportunity to be a key institution making meaningful contributions in building experiments and designing them and operating the experiment and uh, doing the analysis to really learn these uh, answers to these fundamental questions. I like working here. I like working with my hands. Usually I come in and work in my, in my lab and um, tweaking lasers and analyzing data. And there's a lot of hands-on work too. Uh, there's a lot of hardware that goes into the experiment uh, that I have to work on. And that's all been really fun. There are a lot of facilities in Loomis that um, are really handy. Like, for example, I need to cool down my experiment using liquid helium. And there's a, a helium facility just downstairs that I can just go down to and grab helium whenever I want. And also facilities at MRL are really useful. They have all kinds of equipment that's necessary for my work. The Loomis Laboratory and the physics program has been a very beneficial. We have a, a number of facilities here that have been great. Uh, we also have the MPL High, high Bay Barn, uh, where we have uh, space to build you know, pretty much anything that we need to. We have machine shop guys that can take care of most everything. And uh, it's been a real help to build and experiment with things first before you take them off to the accelerator labs and things like this. I just recently had an experiment where I've built an apparatus in Loomis Lab, and then now we've transported it to, uh, to Argonne National Laboratory, so I can use the caribou beam line there. One of the interesting things that I look forward to while I'm on shift is to meet people and to learn from them. And that is really uh, educational for me. They are one of the most experienced people in the field. To learn from them and share ideas with them, it has been like really encouraging and inspiring for me. I really enjoy working in a large collaborative experiment. Uh, Phoenix at Rick has a few hundred scientists uh, collaborating together, and that's been one of the most valuable experiences for uh, my grad school career. You have the opportunity not only to engage with the huge diversity of uh, scientists from different countries uh, with different perspectives, but you really get the opportunity to leverage resources. You have experts in all sorts of different fields from uh, computational skills to detector technology to f uh, physics and analysis. And the opportunity to be involved with that caliber of people and uh, different levels of experts um, has really broadened my horizons and uh, given me the chance to consider different perspectives and different opportunities. We spend a lot of time traveling. Uh, I've been to a lot of places I wouldn't have had an opportunity to go to before. Uh, most of them right now have been in the U.S., but uh, there's been some other opportunities that I've had in this by that uh, to go to other countries and some places like this. A lot of collaboration. So I would say I come to travel at least twice per year and sometimes up to four or five times a year. We visit a lot of like Beijing, Hong Kong, and Shenzhen, one of the city, biggest city in the world, but didn't exist 30 years ago. The fact that it's, this is a, such a big university, it, it has a lot of diversity in terms of not only its population, but also in terms of uh, what, what is available for you to do. Whether you want to stay in academia or go to industry, it's, it's useful everywhere. I think all of the skills that I've gotten here have been very beneficial and certainly will help me in, in, in any future endeavors that I have in life. The problem solving strategies alone have been great. The hardware that I get to work with and things, these are all tools and techniques of the trade and that we used everywhere you go if you stick to you know nuclear science whenever you leave. The most enjoyable part is um, when you um, when you think when something actually finally starts working, right? Like after all the because it's always like the period where it's like, oh, this is never going to work. But eventually it does work. And that, that's always really nice, right? And that's the type of thing that leads to the technology of tomorrow that we can't even imagine today.